going through and doing this exercise, it really highlighted to me where I wasn't aware mm. and around the values and the virtues and authenticity and all that sort of stuff. So I was sort of building this facade, but I was so low on authenticity and values and virtue and discipline that it just, that it just all fell apart. And so by then working on and that the processes that we've done in the other workshops of how do you find your values mm. and what are your values and then how do you live them mm. that was part of the process that came from this mm. because I saw that I had to actually understand what is virtue what are values and how do I live them so, yeah. so I went and got guidance and searching on that then started working on living those out and even the hardest one is authenticity. Because it's first being authentic to yourself. Yeah? It's first telling your own truth. Yes. And living your own truth. Yes. And then aligning, aligning your thoughts, feelings, actions and beliefs together. And then that's limited by what you... Yeah. So. And that's why authenticity comes at the, uh, at the end. The first, the first is awareness. Just be aware. And, and exercises like this are, okay, I'm, I'm more aware. I'm more aware of the sensations and feelings and thinking and how, how my thoughts actually work. Yeah, how I, how I actually work. And that's what we'll be working through yeah. in the next section. Yeah. How I work. Yeah. And then you can work into the others. Yeah. And then you get into, okay, what is motivating me? How do I operate? And then knowing how I operate, I can know how to put my discipline into action and not derail myself.